right, hopefully you can see this. I am just got this uh, old Delta Homecraft lathe headstock in the mail, and I'm going to take it apart, check the bearings, check out the insides, and then uh, put it back together. Well, I'll probably repaint it first. I've already taken out one set screw on the pulley, and I'm trying to take out the other one. I have never taken this headstock apart before. Possible. This just this probably just doesn't thread on here. This probably just spins on the shaft, and it does. Okay, so there we go. And the pulley is off. Now, well, that is gross and dirty in there. Wonder if I can get you a better shot. I wonder if I need to take that off. Let me get some of this crud off here and see what we're dealing with. I'm going to take this outside and clean it off. Okay. We have changed over here to my favorite workbench, which is actually the end of my table saw covered up with an old uh, crib blanket. Or a crib pad or something like that. Well, let's see. I'm going to take off all these. That should be a bearing here. And there is. Yeah, it's not in bad shape. Now, how does this come apart? Try a little persuasion. Persuasion works. Okay, well, okay, there we go. Interesting. We have a uh, taper bearing here that is very good for uh, resisting loads in two directions. A little bit wiggly, but I mean, it's it's really not bad. And here's the main radial bearing, which is the Timken, made in USA. And. I don't know. To be perfectly frank, I'm not that familiar with this type of bearing. I'm going to have to uh, do a little research here. Alright, let's see what else we got. Let me get a grease rag. Okay, and on top we have our oiling port for that exposed bearing. And 
then other than that there's there really isn't very much to it so I will clean this up get it painted check out the story on these bearings See what we have.